thinking about as we hit that golf ball right on the practice. It can even be up here with a lofted club. We're trying to hit this thing down into the ground. Trying to finish just like Tommy Fleetwood as low as I possibly can, but hitting it as far as I can. Good. I wanna do this with you too. This is gonna be something that's really gonna help your wedge game, all right? I will get my 58 out, and again, your limbs are a lot longer than they were before, right? Yeah. You know, wedge play is harder the bigger the person is, okay? And when we have really long limbs, they're hard to control. But one of the things that will kill a good wedge game is when the arms get away from our body, all right? So we can take this towel and we can wrap it up real tight and throw it right up in the, in the armpits. And now this is really gonna help our chest and our arms stay together. All right, and I want you to just hit some shots here where we're hinging a little bit more passively, but more, not picking it up, okay? We're just gonna use the towel to turn back and push into the grip, okay? And then I'm gonna really feel the towel stay in my arms there, all right? And it's gonna keep your arms and your, and your body connected a lot more. Roll it right up, get it way up there underneath the armpits. It's not gonna feel like it's trapped aside, it's gonna feel like the tension is right here and right here on the inside of the pecs up there, okay? Boom. That's where the pressure points are gonna be in your swing, good. Good, and this should keep those arms a little bit more with the center of your body. So if I was working on my wedges, I'd be making sure my hinge was happening, I'd be making sure I was taking a lot of short back swings, and I'd be living with the towel under my arms. Mm -hmm. Good. There you go. It's a little bit high. Amazing how much further it goes though, right? Even on a, even on a bad one. And yeah. understand what all those are doing. Number one, the towel isn't letting your arms lift beyond where they need to. The pause isn't letting your hips open up before they need to. And then the looking on top of the ball is just the mentality of covering the golf ball and really flighting it down. Give me a practice swing. Feel like um, the lower body doesn't really move. The lower body only moves because your chest opens up. Yes. Do that again. Yes. Feel the difference? Yeah. Good. That was better. Okay, so as I want to hit this thing as low as I can, and again, that's something I try to do often. Look where the finish is. Right in front of me and like waist high. Look how far that golf ball goes. That was the 58, okay? But again, if the body is quick and the arms are long, the finish is gonna be really high. So, you know, Tiger was taught that the height of his golf shot would be controlled by the height of his finish. Look at how I'm like not even fully rotated on that shot, right? And for you, it's normally the big move of that, Yeah. right? So I wanna see you get in here and I really wanna see you. This is like, I guess I think I would rename this one the Fleetwood, right? Mm -hmm. Trying to finish just like Tommy Fleetwood as low as I possibly can, but hitting it as far as I can. Well, not once did any of those clubs get above my, chest, my, my shoulders, the club head, right? So show me a couple practice things like that. There you go, now you're talking. Now the club is being released in front of you instead of behind you. Good, one more time. Good, try to hit a couple like that and just squeeze them out there super low. Super low finish, number one thought right here, okay? Short backswing, low finish. Good. It's like going a bit higher. Um, and again, I think it's all in the finish, right? When you finish and your hips go quickly for this shot, which they don't need to, the crime scene, the evidence, is that the foot gets really, really fully rotated. Watch my feet when I hit a little low, tight wedge. Stayed pretty flat. Versus. 
getting up and getting noisy, okay? So keep those feet really heavy. Again, this isn't a shot that's hit with your lower body. It's hit with the angles and with your hands and chest, okay? And remember, mentality-wise, you're trying to literally come down like on top of the golf ball, not on the back of it, right? Literally trying to come down on top of it, okay? If you thin it, no problem. Good, there's the flight, and there's the extra 12, 12 yards. And it's just a mentality change on the golf ball, you know? But that's something that, you know, took me, again, a long time to learn, because I was a tall, long player, and I had trouble hitting low, tight shots. Yeah. And it wasn't until I realized that I'm not looking at the back yeah, of the ball on this. I literally, when I hit these, I'm trying to come down, like, right here. At you know? the practice? At the practice, literally on top of it. And you know what? If you hit it thin, no big deal. Way different contact. Yeah. Still goes high, but look at the distance change, okay? So we're gonna get in here, we're gonna put this golf ball down here, and we're gonna really be thinking about as we hit that golf ball right on the practice. It can even be up here with a lofted club. We're trying to hit this thing down into the ground. We're not trying to get to the back of the ball. That's gonna be automatically a high shot, okay? So get in there right down on top of it. Those are coming out better, huh? Yeah, going further too. That a boy. There you go. Wow. Oh, dude, that looks like mine. <laughs> that has to be one of the furthest 60s you've hit in a while. Definitely. <laughs> Good, a little pause, hit right down on top of that golf ball. Mm. Awesome. All right, dude, so you got a better way to get back on track? Yeah. Okay, it starts with our setup, not letting the ball creep back not letting ourselves get back here. Get that ball a little bit more middle or forward and get up over on top of it and keep the weight on the left foot. Next, we're gonna make sure the club hinges a little bit more instead of not, okay? The no hinge and the long arms and late hinge is what leads to this and what leads to the right elbow pain, okay? So all day long, your practice session just all day today was hinge it, good, move the arms and chest through, past the lower body, feeling like the hands speed up. When you do it correct, you're gonna feel the hands finish more in front of you instead of low and left across it, okay? Anything low and left finishing is really driven from the lower body, mm. all right? The towel is in there, you can do that, but um, really good. Let's see the last one here. Oh wow.